Hello, dear colleagues. We are ready to start our next webinar devoted to the channel meridian system according to traditional Chinese medicine. And that will be like our small jubilee because it's webinar number 10 in the series of our webinars. And today it's called triple heater channel. Let me remind you that all our webinars are based on the offerings of the expert Sergei Kasinsev and he's waiting for your answers. He will be happy to share his opinion and to answer all your questions uh, if you have some. Let's start and as you know we are going to work according to our traditional plan. We will talk about main characteristics of the channel, its projection area, functional use and we'll analyze its uh, power points all together with the method of pacing for this particular channel. In Chinese, that, webin that meridian is called Shou Shao Yan San Zhao Zin, as you can see it on your screen now. And that's interesting. First of all, I'd like to say a few words about the name of this meridian. Sometimes it is called triple heater, as we said, but also it can be called channel of three parts of the body, and that depends uh, on the particular scholar school, because there are both translations, and both translations are used, and each of them has its uh, particular meaning. When we say three parts of the body, we mean upper part, middle part, and lower part of our body. And uh, uh, that's uh, interesting because in Chinese tradition, even location of this part has variations. As you probably remember from our previous webinar on the pericardium channel, we said that these two channels, pericardium and triple heater channels, were added later to the whole system of uh, channels. That's why so many variations when we are talking about these two particular channels. And um, even if we'd like to compare, for example, triple heater meridian uh, has even more various readings than the pericardium channel. But the main basic moments we are going to analyze today. First of all, we should say that triple heat and meridian belongs to the system of fire. So, it has a particular um, thermal effect. And uh, that's the reason why this system is often called um, as thermal as heater, because it sustains our inner warm and, for example, look, any inner organ which is working, it is always warm. So this a warm of triple heater is equal to the idea of life itself, to the idea of life sustaining activity of our body. And there is uh, one interesting point also um, when we are talking about the description of biological active points of this channel. It's kind of query, um, so please don't forget about it. Usually, fire channels channels of fire system, they add fire and they increase Yang syndromes. This channel, as we mentioned, belongs to the fire system, but um, it does not add fire. It regulates it. So this channel and its biological active points regulate fire in our body. 
and it's especially right for biological active points of five elements. But generally, all biological active points of this system reduce hmm, fire to the normal range, if necessary, and they can stabilize it, and that's really unique. When we are talking about uh, modern ideas of uh, our medicine, then we should say that all disorders and diseases connected to um, nervous system, to central nervous system, they can be marked as disorders connected to, to this channel. Biological active points of this channel and uh, the triple heater channel itself is connected also to our vascular glands or in other words our endocrine glands Or, in other words, we can say that this channel works exactly with our energy centers. You can see it belongs to Shaoyan axis. As well as uh, gallbladder channel belongs to it. Um, by the way, gallbladder channel is our next topic to discuss. And it's very interesting channel because it's quite long. Even we can say very long. So, next time we are going to discuss it. And these two channels, uh, they are protective systems for our inner organ systems. Triple heater meridian is a regulator for all incoming energy. And gallbladder channel helps to transform this energy. And it is exactly the gallbladder uh, which uh, helps to define clear from unclean, clean from impure. We need uh, clear energy, energy of proper quality. It is the energy which should be included in our um, metabolism and they don't need unclear energy. In China they say muddy or troubled energy such uh, bad energy should be excreted from the body by means of our urinary bladder and large intestine. As we mentioned, triple heater belongs to fire system, but at the same time, triple heater and pericardium channel, they are connected uh, to water element. So, these two additional meridians nominally belong to fire system, but at the same time, uh, they are responsible for regulation of uh, water and fire balance. And this balance between water and fire, it is the main, um, the core um, term, the core condition for a long, healthy life. That's why it's important to work with these channels and to work with biological active points of pericardium channel and triple heater. It's possible to do it very often to restore regulation of our body at the level of nervous system and endocrine glands and as well as at our energy centers. Triple heater channel 
small intestine channel and heart channel, they are connected to fire element. From the position of Ayurveda, triple heater channel introduces Kapha dosha. And again, you can see it is responsible for endocrine glands. The time of maximum activity for this channel uh, lays between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. And it is the time when we need a rest. Our nervous system and all regulation systems, um, system which bring us in a common universe, they need a rest at this time, so we need to reduce our um, activity to be ready to get this rest in this time. And it is recommended even to be in the bed and to sleep already at uh, 11 p.m. because our system are adjusted this way and also it will be good not only for our nervous system and endocrine system but even our digestion depends on how we correspond to this recommended regime. So what is uh, this channel responsible for? Uh, it manages three parts of our body. So in other words, it influences everything. And this system is quite self-sufficient. So it means that we shouldn't uh, be too active in our, um, in our um, intervention when operating this system. So it's like to keep out of the way of the system. And uh, the only thing that we can do here, the best thing that we can do here is uh, to come down and to go to bed at recommended time. It will be optimal for our body and it will help us to synchronize um, all heaters functioning. Also, this system helps to regulate functioning of liquids in our body. So everything which is connected to a water metabolism can be influenced by working with this system. Uh, the specific action, specific effect of this system is connected uh, to, a to the ability uh, of influencing metal sensitivity. So if you've got patients uh, with uh, high metal sensitivity, uh, you can say that mm, these people suffer from not proper functioning of the triple heater system. And the first we need to do is to change where day regime. You can ask him, for example, how do they prepare to before going to bed? Sure, it should be a right procedure. Firstly, we should dim the light, then switch off all irritating gadgets, devices, as laptop or TV. And uh, there is even uh, such a modern uh, papers, uh, such modern scientific papers uh, that say that um, if uh, a person is using devices for an hour before going to bed, then this person gets uh, at least 20% possibility of sleep disorders. Um, because there is a radiance of the screens 
uh, of gadgets and especially it's bad uh, for our health uh, when we are using uh, these devices uh, in a dark room. Also, this system affects joints of our upper extremities. Uh, it influences our spine and uh, joints of uh, lower extremities. And it's true that this system influences all our inner systems. Uh, you can see it on the slide. Interesting peculiarity of the triple heater channel is the ability to manage um, our subcortical structures directly. So all disorders connected to subcortical structures dysfunction can be influenced by means of uh, biological active points of triple heated channel. Main characteristics of a triple heated channel. Mostly, it is about fire. Because you remember, nominally triple heater it's fire channel. But uh, these parameters that uh, you can see on your screen. It's not uh, direct indications for you when you are trying to make a diagnosis of a triple heater. It's like second-rated uh, parameters. And mostly, if you see such indications, as on your screen, uh, mostly it is usually about imbalance of the heart channel or imbalance of the small intestine channel. And only in a second range, it is uh, connected to mm, the pair of meridians, pericardium, and triple heater channels. So, you can see uh, it opens for a ton as all our fire systems. So, it has a mirror in our complexion bitter taste connected to such emotions as joy and fun and you can see its mental manifestation. A special thing here uh, which is right exactly for triple heater channel uh, is uh, mental stability. So it means mm, whether we can resist stress. So it's unique and it is exactly right for triple heater. It is connected to it. We are going on and we are starting exploring main points of this channel. It will be points of five basic elements, an algetic point, Law and uh, diagnostic point Mo and Shu, which are popular in treatment. What we should uh, pay attention to? Uh, first of all, uh, don't forget about tonic point. Triple heater channel is Yan channel. So, as for our Yan channels, Tonic point uh, is uh, connected uh, to the category Shu. It's point uh, number three, Shu point number three. And for all Yan channels, uh, it is uh, wood element point. Uh, when we are talking about triple heater channel exactly, so they are point number three and point number four. Uh, point number three is uh, a bit more responsible for functions of wood element. And point number four is more about uh, UI energy functions. So it's uh, 
the point uh, which is connected to put ties to our inherited uh, parental energy. Point number six, its point which we call element in the element point, it belongs to fire element. So it means you can use it uh, for treatment and for diagnosis of the whole um, condition of the triple heater channel itself. Mm, triple heater channel shows a warm of life. So this particular point mm, can show the condition of uh, energy in general by the person. It can show some problems uh, in energetics. If this point, uh, number six, uh, is quite good, and if it reacts, so in a good way, then it means uh, that all problems can be solved. But if this point is very painful or, on the contrary, if it feels a lack of energy, um, uh, by the way, if there is a lack of energy in the point, then you can see a um, lighter, pale spot at this place. Or then pressing, you can feel something like um, sticking feeling in this zone. So, if there are such unpleasant moments about this point, it means that uh, energy of triple heater in a bad condition and uh, moreover, uh, energy of the whole channel meridian system in the patient uh, also suffers. Sedative point number 10 belongs to the off element. Point number 7 will be analgetic for this system and as all other mm, points of this category, uh, then such uh, interspace points, this point can help to eliminate blockage of uh, energy flow in the triple heater channel. And you remember, triple heater channel represents all other channels in our body. So, point number seven can be used to influence all other systems. Not only triple heater, but all other systems in our body. And if you've got some problems restoring balance, then you can use this point number seven. Point number five is a low point. It is connected to the pericardium channel by means of uh, point uh, M7. Also, we'll, talk, we'll be talking today about more and shoe points. Here we are point number two uh, on the um, anterior middle meridian and point number 22 at the urinary bladder meridian. Okay, let's talk about biological active points. And we'll start with the first point. It is called uh, Yuan Chu and can be translated as penetration into the gates. This point uh, protects us from external um, pathogenic energy. So you can check this point for sensitivity and for functioning. If it is not painful, 
uh, not painful from the right side, from the left side. So if it's not painful, it means uh, that your protection works well, works on a good level. This point belongs to the metal element. It cools heat. Mm. By the way, all biological active points of five elements on this channel, they have such an option uh, to cool heat. Because this channel, it's a regulatory channel. And there is one more interesting option about this point. It can help to expel external wind. As you may know, wind is the most common external energy. And it is exactly the wind which brings a lot of other external energies to us. So if you've got uh, any uh, disorder connected to these external energies, you can use this point number one in the system of uh, triple heater to eliminate wind and to block uh, external escalation of the disorder in the channel meridian system. The next point is point number two. Please look at the second picture. And to feel it, uh, we are pressing our ring finger. By the way, it's quite interesting that uh, our fourth finger is called ring finger in English. Uh, in other languages, for example, in Russian, uh, it is called uh, no name finger. So it is supposed uh, to be without a name and only after a marriage uh, it gets a name like the name of your spouse. So mm, in different cultures we wear our wedding ring on the left or on the right hand. It's not so important. But uh, anyway, in different cultures, it is exactly the finger which is connected to our uh, matrimonial uh, moments, which is connected to our marriage. That's why biological active points also, uh, which are allocated here, can be very powerful points in treating uh, our um, sex glands uh, function. Or, for example, when a patient has some uh, problems with potency or with impregnation or carrying of a pregnancy, then usually mm, such biological active points can be added to prescription to activate these functions. Point number one is stronger, but uh, point number two, which is called Yemen, gate of liquids uh, which belongs to water element and can uh, regulate additional uh, thyroid function and also parathyroid gland function. So as a point of water element uh, it is responsible for water metabolism in our body. Next point is point number three. It's a uh, Tony Fine point. Junju can be translated as uh, Middle Island. It belongs to wood element. And if you feel some unpleasant uh, feelings at this point, if it's painful, Mm. And if at the same time your triple heater channel uh, feels excessive level of energy all the time, uh, then well, we can say the following. A triple heater channel is connected to external energy. 
So if it is overstrained all the time, then it means that your uh, protection uh, can cope with these energies, but uh, it feels a certain attack of these external energies. And uh, it's important in this case to pay attention to the liver and gallbladder systems. Um, uh, because, you know, wind, it's also connected to wood element. And uh, uh, different diseases and disorders, uh, they can appear due to uh, this wind. And usually imbalance uh, from the side of liver and gallbladder uh, takes place in such situations. Or at the same time, there is uh, the second variant. It is connected to the system of tripohedra itself. And it is more about uh, deeper levels. It means a deeper disorder. Mm, for example, uh, check if your patient uh, in this situation has uh, mm, increased meta sensitivity or some uh, not stable emotions, then it will be about a disorder connected to triple heater system. In this case, it is recommended to change a way of life and to start going uh, to bed earlier. Uh, for example, it would be fine if such person would go to bed in the beginning of the time period of maximum activity of triple heater channel. And also, it's better to make uh, passing of a triple heater channel in a day uh, at its time of minimum activity. It can be done daily. And uh, also it would be good if you pay attention to open points of a channel. As you know, different points are open at different time. There are special algorithms to calculate it. And also, uh, we included a special module in our software of the Weather Pulse device, which is called Biorhythms, and also can show you these open points. So you can use it to strengthen effect of your prescription, to strengthen effect of working with biological tip points. Uh, doing this way and um, keeping right diet, you can help to restore this system. And one more positive thing to do is to use uh, different aroma oils. Mm, it also can be done daily. You just choose the best appropriate aroma oil. Uh, for example, you can choose it in the green list of the aroma module. And you put this uh, aroma oil at the point number one of the triple heater channel. You can do it daily. So all together, these actions uh, should have a good effect, a positive effect. Let's go on with the point number three. To influence at this point, uh, we press, we press uh, the bone, uh, which is a prolongation of our ring finger. This point can help us to reduce liver yarn. So you can also put uh, aroma oil here at this point uh, to regulate 
to regulate functions of uh, our um, pituitary gland and to regulate our hypothalamus. Next point is point number four. And you should remember that as it is Yan channel, then um, all points of a channel uh, should be located uh, on the rear surface of our hand and of our forearm and on the rear surface of our arm generally, in, in general. So point number four is located at the radiocarpal crease from the rear side. To, to find it, just bend your hand and find the place of this bend. You will find the point on the line of the fourth finger. Just imagine the prolongation of your finger bend your hand and you should uh, find a small fossa, small deepening there. That is point number four. Yan Chi. Mm, point of Yan. It belongs to Yuan points responsible for um, normal fluids flow. So you see it is again about combination of water and fire in the triple heater system. So some points are more responsible for fire. Ours influence water. But very often you will meet uh, endocrine glands and fluids of the body when talking about the triple heater system. The next point, number five, Wai Guan. It is low point. It is, it is located uh, too soon over the radiocarpal crease. Again, imagine prolongation of the fourth finger line and uh, between bones of uh, forearm, you will find uh, this point. Uh, if you remember, uh, talking about pericardium channel, we mentioned point uh, MC number six, um, point number six of the pericardium channel is very powerful and um, strong point. So these two points uh, stand uh, nearby, like uh, opposite each other, and that's why a lot of authors recommend to use these two points simultaneously. And even there are such variants uh, of recommendations in texts. For example, if you take one point uh, doing acupuncture procedure, then you just uh, put your needle uh, deeper to catch the second point. So to activate two points at the same time with one needle. We are talking about point number five of the triple heater channel and point number six of the precardium channel. So point number five of the triple heater, it is one one point, external gate. It is responsible uh, per external energy entry. So all diseases and disorders connected uh, to 
external factors can be treated uh, by means of this point. Uh, it is very right for cold related diseases, for joint diseases. So this point can expel wind and heat, can cool heat in the head, can reduce liver yarn, and can be very helpful in meteor sensitivity. So you see, it influences energies of cold and uh, wet energies. Point number six is located uh, one soon over the previous point, or we can say that it stands from our uh, radio carpal crease on three tunes. It is called Jigo. Uh, and can be translated as a stream at the extremity. It belongs to phi element. That is element in the element point. It regulates the energy in the area of our chest. It expels wind and helps in metasensitivity. Uh, it helps uh, to struggle cold and wind syndromes. It is specific point uh, to influence in constipation. So if you've got a patient uh, with constipation problems, then you can use this point. Altogether with the point E25, uh, which is located near uh, our navel. Let's go on. Point number seven has an analgetic effect. It is an interspace point for this system and for all our body. It is called uh, meeting our ancestors. It stands uh, at a distance of one transverse finger to the side of little finger from the point number six. So, use point number six as a landmark. Uh, then take your index finger and put it in a transverse position. This point stands not on the middle line, but uh, closer to the little finger and can be used in pain syndromes of our arm or in pain syndromes connected to any zone of the uh, triple hitomeridian. Uh, triple hitomeridian goes up along the arm. Mm, it goes uh, up along the uh, shoulder girdle. Then it goes uh, over our ear and meets uh, the area of eye. And if your patient feels pain at any of previous mentioned zones, then you can use this point. Also, it can be very useful uh, in singing or ringing in the ears. Next point is point number 10, Tianjin, uh, celestial wellspring. It belongs to the earth element. It is located on the rear surface of our mm, arm, one soon above uh, elbow process. It is 
it eliminates phlegm, suppresses uprising Qi flow, calms the mind, and uh, can be used as an emergency point in uh, renal colic. It can be useful in unstable emotions and uh, in some excessive psycho-emotional excitement. So we can say that it connects us to Earth. It grounds us. Uh, you remember that all points of the triple heater system can do both. They can add energy or they can reduce energy of the element to which they belong. Because they are special, interesting regulatory points. Uh, next are more and shoe points. And talking about more points, oh, we should say that um, here are a lot of variations. But uh, mostly authors say that the main more point of the triple heater system is the point number two on the uh, middle anterior channel. Another variant is point number three. Uh, usually point number three has a big influence on triple heater channel. So when you practice you can just palpate both points along the midline of our body. Point number four, oh sorry, point number two uh, will be located uh, at the upper edge of the pubis of the pubic area and point number three will stand one soon over point number two. Uh, you just palpate them, they make a diagnosis and you will feel uh, which point is more sensitive and then you can use this point which is more sensitive or you can use both points as interconnected points to strengthen the effect. Point number two is called Tsuigu, embowed bone. It influences organs of pelvis and all disorders connected to liver can be influenced by means of working with this point. Plus, it restores E component because it is more point. Sometimes you can meet also in texts additional more points belonging to uh, different heaters, to the lower, middle, or upper heater. So information is very different here. And there are additional more points, mm, but there is no any additional shoe point. But you know that more and shoe points they work in pair, they work in combination. That's why it does not make any sense to take a lot of different more points, because there will be no pair in shoe points for them. But if you really need to do it, then you can just take some more point in combination with shoe point which we have in this meridian. Shoe point is point number 22 along the first line of the urinary bladder channel. It is located uh, in a paravertebral position at the level between the first and the second lumbar uh, vertebrae. 
Let's brush up ties of the triple heated channel. It belongs to the system of fire. It unites effect of fire and water. And uh, its law and yuan points are interconnected. You see tier 5 and then C7. Yuan point gets energy from the pericardium channel. Time of the maximum activity lays between 9 and 11 p.m. So, uh, time of minimum activity, it's morning time, uh, starting at 9 a.m. and it lasts up to 11 a.m. It is connected to Kapha Dosha. According to the rules of pulse diagnosis, a triple heater works uh, with the channel of urinary bladder. Triple heater works in the position of wife. So it means that you can redirect excessive energy from the husband's channel by means of the point uh, number 58 and uh, to you can direct this excessive energy to the wife's channel through the point number 4 of the triple heater channel. Okay, that's our favorite slide with the course of the channel. And uh, it is uh, the following. A standard course of this channel starts at our ring finger, then it goes along the uh, rear surface of our head, of our forearm. It gives a branch in the direction of the seventh uh, a vertebrae, seventh neck vertebrae. And then it goes uh, up along the back surface of our ear and it finishes in the area of an eye. Also, there is an inner course of a channel. It contacts all the three heaters along the midline of the body. Uh, it goes down uh, to the urinary bladder, penetrates urinary bladder and uh, goes out uh, in the area of coccyx. Then from the area of tailbone, there is an inner branch which goes down along the low extremity. In the area of knee joint, it meets gallbladder channel. And due to it, we get Shaoyan connection and interaction according to the Liu He system. As we said in the beginning of our conversation, uh, it is re responsible for our protection from external pathogenic energies. Uh, there is no special projection area for this channel. And Sergei Kasinsa says that uh, reading different texts, usually he meets uh, that projection zones are connected to our urinary system and uh, to our urogenital system. 
and usually it is zones uh, similar to the zones of shoe and more points of a triple heater channel. And there is also no special zones at our face. No special zones connected to the triple heater system. So, mm, recommendation is to use a common zone for fire category. You should understand that uh, this channel appeared not so long and it can be a reason why, why with moments um, are not so deep investigated as for our channels. We continue with our practice. First of all, we should start small celestial circle. Start with activating key point of the back middle meridian through a point G3. Make clapping of the whole back middle meridian. Start uh, from the down, then go up and finish in the area of the mouth. Uh, by the way, this picture shows uh, you exactly the system of three parts of the body that we mentioned. Mm. This system of three body parts is um, commonly used in Qigong and uh, these two parts means three, three heaters lower, middle and upper heater. So after you activated uh, back middle meridian, start activation of anterior middle meridian. Walk with point number seven, uh, which lays in the area of our hand. Then make clapping of anterior middle meridian. Be careful in the area of the pubis. Go along the anterior midline in the direction of our mouth. And then after you activated a small celestial circle, start activation of the triple heater channel. How to do it? You should start with your fingers and exactly with the fourth finger. First points located here can be influenced uh, a bit longer. You can touch it. You can rub it, rasp. So, after that, go up along the middle surface of the arm, then go along the side surface of the shoulder and your neck and make such a slight clapping with your fingers uh, in the back part of your ear and finish with slight clapping uh, in the eye area. Last point of the channel lays at the external border of uh, an eyebrow. During clapping you can press biological active points to clear out their condition, to clear out their state. If they are tensed, if there is any uh, skin changes or some painful feelings, then stop here, uh, repeat clapping several times and walk with this zone. Month uh, of uh, triple heater channels activity 
it's November up to the 7th of December. That's all basic information about the triple heater channel. Thank you for your attention. Please send your questions to the email you can see on your screen. And I wish you every success learning traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda. Thank you. Don't forget to leave by, uh, your feedback. You can see a link for it on our chat. Thank you very much and see you next time.